Our three contestants are on the starting blocks, so let's get this race underway. This is Tipping Point. Hello and welcome to Tipping Point. Three players will be facing our machine and they're all hoping to win thousands today. So, let's meet them. I'm Nathan, a web designer from Manchester. I'm Leanne, a hairdresser from Peterborough. And I'm Barry, a victim liaison officer from Lincolnshire. Good luck to you all. Let's play Tipping Point. So, in round one, you each start with three counters. Questions are on the buzzer. If you buzz in and give me a correct answer, you'll have a choice to make. You can either choose to play one of your counters into the machine, or, if you think the machine isn't quite ready to pay out, get one of your opponents to play one of theirs instead. Most of the counters you get out of the machine will add £50 to your score. That includes our mystery counters, which, of course, come with a bonus prize, but also nestled in the machine. We do have two double counters. If one of those falls for you, it will double the entire value of your drop, and should one fall with the jackpot counter at the end of the game, you'll be leaving £20,000 richer. Now, all three of you are going to be going through to round two, but you want to bank as much money as you can throughout the game, so do keep an eye on those double counters, because they could make all the difference. Right, everybody ready? Yep. Hands on your buzzers, because comes your first question. The Royal Liver Building is a famous landmark in which English city? Leanne? Liverpool. It is Liverpool, yes. No problems at all with that one. So you get to make the first choice, Leanne. Would you like to play or pass? Uh, I think I'll play, please. OK, where do you fancy going? Can I please play Drop Zone 1? You can indeed. Fire up one for Leanne, please. <laughs> Timing, Leanne. Is it going to get flat? Oh, yes. Yes, it is. OK, that might work out nicely in the end. Can we get something over right down here at the bottom with the double? Might get a little nudge too. Fingers crossed. Hopefully it will. And one counter. £50. Let's give you that. £50 for that silver counter. Let's take it and put it into your bank. So you're off the mark and you've got two counters still to play. Here's your next question. Opened in Northern Ireland in 2022, a new £40 million studio tour exhibits costumes, sets and props. From which fancy TV drama, Leanne? Game of Thrones. Set in Westeros. It is Game of Thrones. You're absolutely right. You're going to play again, Leanne? Yes, I'm going to play. I'm going to go drop zone one because it's hanging over the edge. They look good, don't they? Fire up one again. OK, so let's see this time, Leanne. What can we get off the top shelf? Because those danglers are there on the bottom. Smooth descent. Ooh, similar spot. Yeah, Could be bad. good if it goes. They do go, yes. Handy. Can you spin a touch? Handy, is it going to touch them? Yeah, there you go. Not three back. more for you. The double had a little nudge. That's still in there, though. Let's give you £150 for those three. Well done. Put it into your bank. It puts you on £200 now, with a Thank counter you. still to play. Here comes your next question. A bronze statue of which fictional bear is located at Platform 1? <laughs> Barry. Paddington Bear. Platform 1 of the London Railway Station after which he is named. It is Paddington. You're absolutely right. Paddington Bear, Barry. Now, would you like to play? I'll give it a go. Play. Where should we go? Drop zone one, please. Drop zone one for Barry, please. <laughs> Let's see what we can get for your first counter. Slow drop. All those ricochets just took its time to descend. It is flat, though, to the other side compared to Leanne. Let's see, can we get something over the top? Yes, we can. Oh, they've separated nicely as well. Gonna get a lovely drop there. Great start. Well done, Barry. That'll do nicely. Five across the tipping point. £250 is gonna put you in the lead. Let's take it and put it into your bank. And you've still got two left to play. Here's your next question. Which orchard fruit is typically the principal ingredient of the dessert Eve's pudding? Barry. That'll be an apple. It is an apple, yes. Playing again, Barry, or would you like to pass? Um, I'll play a game, please. Yep, where are we going? I'm going to go after that double two, so I'm going to go into drop zone one, if you can, Drop please. zone one. Let's do it. Fire it up, please. You've got the others. You'd like the double two. Well, it would be nice to get it, wouldn't it? Just towards the left. Might get enough of it. Ooh. Drop quick. Did. Flew out, didn't it? Is it going to get... 
might just sneak past the double, hopefully. There's a couple that look vulnerable. And Ooh. they've dropped for you there, Barry, another £100. Thank you. Let's take it, put it in your bank. Extend your lead. Now on £350, one count still to play. Here's your next question. Which Chinese city was the official host of the 2022 Nathan? Beijing. Winter Olympics, it was Beijing, yes. Good to have you with us, Nathan. Welcome. <laughs> They've been well battling time. out down this end. <laughs> You've been waiting patiently. Would you like to play or pass? Uh, I'm going to play, please, Ben. Where do you want to go? Uh, I'm going to follow suit and go with drop zone one. Let's well. have drop zone one, please. <laughs> Double certainly drawing you all in. Can you get your hands on it, Nathan? <laughs> Lots of leaps in that. Could be a nice spot if it goes flat. Is that silver one going to cause you a problem? Oh, oh it does. Man. Now, it's quite Go tightly on. packed. You might get enough of a nudge here, Nathan, to get something. Go on now, go on now, go on now. Oh, <sighs> really close. Next time. Ryder didn't quite give you enough <sighs> traction, did it? So, sadly, nothing from that drop. Here's your next question. In the UK, the U and PG symbols used by the British Board of Film Classification are both what three-sided geometric shape? Nathan. Triangle. Triangle's absolutely right. Gonna play? I'm gonna play, indeed. Uh, I'm gonna go one. for a drop zone one again. Fire it up, please. Let's see. Here we go. Rattles down, that's better. Settles nicely. That's what we're talking about. Can you take them out? God, yes, just. Is the double going to go? It's going to get close. Oh, and a little oh, twerk <laughs> and a little wobble. Oh, it's but teasing, it's staying man. there. 100 pounds did drop, though, Nathan. You did get it into the wind zone. So we can get you off the mark. Let's take that from the machine and put it into your bank. Puts you behind Leanne. You've all got one counter left. Here's your next question. In 2021, which US president signed the bill that officially made Juneteenth a federal holiday in America? Leanne. Be President Trump. No, no, Leanne, no, it was Joe Biden. Oh. Leanne, we have to steal that last counter from you. That's going into the panel spot. You'll all get a chance to play for that at the end of the round. Leanne, I'm afraid that's all three of your counters used. So for the time being, you are out. So Nathan, Barry, just you two left in. You've both got one counter left to play. Here comes your next question. The 2021 UK number one album, Surrounded by Time, is by which Welsh-born singer and coach on The Voice UK? Nathan. Sir Tom Jones? It is Tom Jones, yes. Sir Tom Jones is absolutely right. Nathan, would you like to play your last counter or would you like Barry to play his? I'm going to play. I'm going to try and tame drop zone one. one. <laughs> Let's Again. do it. Yeah. Fire up drop zone one, please. Taming of drop zone one. Is it happening now? Ooh, just teasing you again, I think. Is it going to go flat? It is flat, yes. Now. Can you sneak alongside that black counter, get those two in the middle over? Yes, you can. Thank it's you. the double with a bit of lateral going to go for you, Nathan. Oh! Oh! <laughs> it's defying physics. It is, isn't it? <laughs> Clinging, Barry, to the edge. Unbelievable. See the angle that that is on. <laughs> oh, it's barely going to take a whisper and it's going to drop, but I'm afraid, Nathan, you didn't quite get the double. You did get two more, though. That's £100 across the tipping point. Let's take that from the machine. Put it into your bank and it will draw you level with Leanne on £200. That's all three of yours used for the time being you are out. Barry, it's just you, because it's just you. You don't need to use your buzzer. Do, do you need to give me the correct answer to this question? Put that count into the machine. OK, man. Here we go, Barry. Which planet of our solar system did US astronomer Carl Sagan famously refer to as the pale blue dot? Pluto. No, it's not Pluto. It was Earth, Barry. It was Earth. Of course. Barry, we have to steal your last counter. That's gone into the penalty pot. So as things stand, Barry is leading with £350. Both Leanne and Nathan have £200 each. But it's not over. We have two counters up for grabs in the penalty pot. I can ask you all one more question. If you buzz in and give me the correct answer, you put both these counts into the machine. Best of luck to all of you. Here comes your penalty pot question. How many vowels are there in the word cabinet? Barry. Three. There is three, yes. Very quick spelling there, Barry. C-A-B-I-N-E-T. You, you took the risk and it's paid off. You get both of these counters. So, need I ask, where would you like to go? Might as well go for drop zone one. Fire up one, please. The 
double goes. You want it to go with as much company as possible. Oh, it's rolling alongside. That might work, actually, if it just pings it on the way down. It's looking good. It is flat, so the silver counter should come over. There's a stack of counters on the tipping point in front. You want them to try and graze the double to go with it. Is it going to go? It does. Yes. That's exactly what happened. Tactical genius there, Barry. Thank you. Well, I've been called many things. <laughs> Never a genius. Five counters across the tipping point. £250 for those five. It's a nice drop in itself, but you got the double that everyone was after. So we can double it up and give you another 250 up to £500 now. And you've got one more counter to put in. I'm going to pop down the other end. Going to go down to number four, please, Ben. Let's do it. Far up four. Can we get something from four? <laughs> Took its time to descend, but you have got it over on that right-hand edge by the mystery. And it's flat. Anything coming here over the bottom shelf to extend your lead. A couple over the top. Might get a couple here, they might stay. Three Very more nice. drop here for you, Barry. Very nice. £150. Takes you to 650 in total. Let's take that from the machine, put it into your bank. And that means at the end of the round, Barry is now leading with £1,000 ahead of both Nathan and Leanne on £200 each. So, join us after the break to which of today's three players will win through to our head-to-head -head and a shot at our £10,000 jackpot. See you in a bit. Welcome back to Tipping Point, where Nathan, Leanne and Barry are battling it out for the right to play for today's jackpot. In this round, they'll each have 45 seconds to answer as many questions as possible. Every correct answer will win them a counter to pay into the machine. However, this time, the player with the lowest score at the end of the round will be eliminated from the game. So, Barry, after that sensational penalty pot, you are way out in the lead, which means you get to choose. Is the machine ready? Would you like to play first, or would you like to ask Leanne or Nathan to play? Can I ask Nathan to play? You can. Nathan, you're up first. 45 seconds for you. Every time you get a question mark, I'll give you a counter. If you don't know, just say pass, OK? Cool. 45 seconds for Nathan, please. Your time starts now. Edinburgh Zoo is located in which country of the UK? Scotland. Correct. The 1978 horror film Halloween is predominantly set during which month of the year? October. Correct. A person who is Bodhisattva is a dedicated follower of which major world religion? Pass. Buddhism. The national flag of the USA includes 50 stars and how many red and white stripes? 13. Correct. According to superstition, it is bad luck to walk under which large piece of equipment used for climbing? Ladder. Correct. Commonly associated with military uniform jackets, epaulettes are worn on what part of Shoulder. your upper arm? Correct. Adam Rickett and Ben Price have both played which Coronation Street character? Pass. Nick Tilsley. The 2021 book Broken Horses is a memoir by which Grammy award-winning singer-songwriter? Adele. Randy Carlyle. Four. Five correct answers, Nathan. That's a decent return. Oh. Very nicely done. Five counters to put into the machine. So where would you like to start? I am going to start at drop zone four. Let's do it. Drop, drop zone four, please. <laughs> Busy drop. Stayed on its edge, though. Now, let's see what the machine has in store. Nice and flat there. Tipping point's a little bit empty on that side, but that might help. Fill it up. That's what we're going to do. Three across the top shelf. And they're mm. just moving forward right. nicely. Looks good now. Right, Nathan. Uh, dropped on four again, please, Ben. Right, four up, please. <laughs> Took a bit of a risk with the timing then. Got a bit carried away. Is that OK, though? Yes, it is. Could work nicely for you. Give the top shelf. Don't want that silver one to stagger back too much. Great, settles over the top. Very nice, well done. A couple more as well. Seven counters. 350 pounds in that drop right there. Great stuff. Three more to go as well. Uh, I'm going to go drop zone four again. Load up drop zone four. Ooh, let's have a look on the left. Mystery looks a little bit more like it could be vulnerable here. Is it going to go? It's going to get close. Bit of a gap there. Ooh, Ooh. Nudging them forward. <laughs> <laughs> Two more to go in, Nathan. Staying with four. Staying with four, please. Four again. <laughs> one like the last one would be good, I think. Let's 
trying. It is flat, though. That could work, couldn't I'll it? I'll tell you that. Silver one goes in the middle. It does. What are we going to get here? Oh, oh, that's close. They are clinging to the edge. One more to go, Nathan. Drop zone four. One last hit on four for Nathan, please. Can you get the final nine to catch Barry? Feels like there's enough to get to the right place. Ooh, Ooh. That's what I wanted. Yeah? I think. Is it going to work <laughs> the top shelf? I'm not sure. Oh, oh no. Nathan, no! Would that you believe it? Oh, oh, they're dangling. They are on the wobble. Just keep an eye on them. Mm, we needed it to go now. There oh, you got it. That was well lucky. You got it. <laughs> wow. That's how close it was to going. <laughs> Six more across the tipping point. Another 300 pounds. Very nice. 650 in total. Let's put that into your bank, Nathan. That's going to leave you on 850 pounds. And you've got your hands on the mystery prize as well, which is a two night break in a holiday cottage with a hot tub. Courtesy of Rossendale Holiday Cottages and Glamping. Very nice Very indeed. Nice. And you've got 850 pounds. Not bad return at all. Well done. Right then, Barry, we come back to you. It's your choice to play again because you're ahead of Leanne if you'd like to. Alternatively, if you'd like Leanne to maybe go before you, you can ask her to play first. Can I ask Leanne to go now, please? And right, here we go, Leanne. 45 seconds for Leanne, please. Yep. Your time starts now. What brand of plastic food storage units was first sold in... Tupperware. Correct. In the English National Curriculum, the subject often referred to as D&T stands for design and what? Technology. Correct. In January 2022, Roy Hodgson was appointed as the manager of which Premier League football club? Pass. Watford. Featuring the detective characters Nick and Nora Charles, The Thin Man is a 1934 novel by which American author? Pass. Dashiell Hammett. Typically served with boiled eggs, what food stuff is toasted to make soldiers? Toast. Bread. Bread. In terms of population, what is the largest city in Turkey? Oh, um, Bodrum. Istanbul. Istanbul. Get into the music is the slogan of which UK-based indie music radio station? Pass. Oh, that's Radio X. Oh, oh Leanne. Rubbish, rubbish. Started off OK, <sighs> then just fell off in the middle, really. Just the two, I'm afraid. Little ambient drop there, but it hasn't changed anything. Uh, what we need to do is we need to get into these counters, <laughs> Leanne, because you need to try and catch Nathan yep. in order to go through to the next round. OK. So... Bit of an ask, but there's plenty there. Where are you thinking of playing? I'm thinking drop zone three looks quite loaded. Yeah. So, yeah, we'll give drop zone three a go and see, see if that's lucky. Fire up drop zone three, please. We need as much as possible with both of these to have a chance. Come on now, be flat machine, be good. Yes, it is flat. Oh, thank goodness for that. <laughs> it's been disturbed along the bottom shelf because of the action in four. Hopefully, Fingers we can start crossed. collecting some money. Oh, we can, Leanne, yes. Oh, a nice a start. One. Seven across the tipping point, a really nice start. £350, which means you need six counters here to try and catch Nathan, which would force sudden death. I'm going to change. I'm going to go for drop zone two. See if I can get somewhere in the middle of drop zone two and three. Let's do it. Let's see if it works out strategically. Is this the right move? Fire up two, blue, please. We need six counters. We've not used two yet. Plenty there. It's on the other side. Wrong end. It is flat. There's a couple on the verge, though. Can you get them? It's a bit of a gap. Hopefully is it going to go? No! Go! Oh, typical. Leanne, I'm afraid it's not no. going to be enough. £350 <laughs> is all you managed to get, I'm afraid. Let's take it from the machine and put it into your bank. It's going to leave you on £550, which means we will be sadly losing you at the end of the round. Right then, Barry, nowhere left to hide, I'm afraid. Unfortunately not. <laughs> <laughs> 45 seconds for Barry, please. Your time starts now. In the name of the music genre glam rock, glam is short for what word? Glamorous. Correct. Who stars as the title character in the 2007 film Mr Bean's Holiday? Um, Rowan Atkinson. Correct. The mocha swallowtail and the pink cattle heart are both species of which winged insect? Grasshopper. Butterfly. In 1968, which Yorkshire-born sculptor was given the honorary freedom of the Borough of St Ives? Pass. Barbara Hepworth. In astrology, the two months covered by the star sign Sagittarius are November and which other? December. Correct. The long-running play, The Mousetrap, was written by which British crime writer? 
Pass. Agatha Christie! Oh, no. Goldsmiths, Queen Mary and Royal Holloway are all colleges that form part of which English university? Oxford. Not Oxford, no. University of London. They're all London. Uh, Barry, you got three correct answers in there. I can't believe I didn't get Agatha Christie. Agatha Christie, <laughs> Barry, for heaven's sake. Three counters to extend your lead over Nathan. So where would you like to go? Number two, give that a go. Right, fire up drop zone two, please. Oh, yeah, settles well. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna take that counter, the black and silver one there. Yes, it does. Maybe get a few that Leanne's left. Or maybe Ooh. we'll tease you a little longer. Nothing goes just yet. Two more to go, Barry. Number two, please. Drop so two it is. That's the side. If we can get it flat, bring the mystery down. Is it going to be flat? Yes, oh, it is. OK. Might you just split them, though? Are you going to get enough to get the mystery over? Just yes. <laughs> and there's a the movement for they are, aren't they? Two did drop though. Let's give you hundred pounds for those two. Let's change onto drop zone three, please. Okay, drop zone three, please. Hammers down. That was in a rush, wasn't it? It was. Let's see. Anything going over the top? No, oh, no. And another one that's just being held up. The black counter there is hovering. Mm. And sadly, there's nothing more to add. It's just £100. Thought you'd get a bit more than that. But as it is, when we take it from the machine and put it into your bank, you are still leading because we've come to the end of the round. Barry has £1,100 ahead of Nathan, who goes through with £850. Leanne, I'm so sorry. That means yeah. with £550, we have found your tipping point. Thank you for playing. Thank you. It's been a lovely day. It's been ben. really lovely to Thank meet you. you. They've finally fallen, those counters, but they've fallen out of play. And it hasn't changed anything. So it's Barry and Nathan who'll be going head-to-head -head after the break for the right to play for our £10,000 jackpot. See you in a couple of minutes. Welcome back to Tipping Point. We have just two players remaining, Nathan and Barry. Very nicely done by both of you to get this far. We're about to find out which one of you is going to take on the machine for our jackpot today. Now, in this round, you're each going to be asked three questions alternately. On your question, you can choose to answer, or you can pass it to your opponent. If you give me a correct answer, you put the count into the machine. If you give me a wrong answer, your opponent puts the count into the machine. Whoever has the most money at the end of this round will be today's winner. They'll be playing for our chat, our chat. Barry, you are still leading. You're still in control, so you get to choose. Is that the first question, or would you like to offer it to Nathan? I think I will do, because it seems that there's not a lot on the top row there at the moment. So you're going to yeah. offer it to Nathan? Yes, please. Right then, Nathan, here comes your first question. In the 2020 Oscar-winning Disney Pixar animation Soul, which musical instrument does the main character, Joe, primarily play? Now, you can pass this if you're not sure. I think I know this. Have you seen it? Uh, I think I have. I think it's the, like, Mexican-inspired one, and he played guitar. So you're going to go guitar? I'm going to go guitar. Right, you could have passed this to Barry. Would you have had any idea what sort of instrument do you think no. the main character... No, so it would have been a guess. Yeah. So you could have passed this over, Nathan. The question is, have you found the right film? Have you found the right instrument? Let's see. Does Joe from Soul play the guitar? It's not, you got the wrong film. No, isn't it? Yeah, it's the piano, piano. Nathan. Oh, I think you confused it with one. Coco. Yes. Yes, you did. Oh, Nathan. Ah. Unfortunately, you got it wrong. So, Barry, there's a gift here for you from Nathan. Where would you want to put the counter? I'm going to give it a go for uh, three, please. Let's do it. Drop zone three, please. Yeah, that's, that's where you wanted it, I think, isn't it? Wrong. Rips down, settles on the left. Is this going to unlock that tipping point? There's a lot of it. Yeah, oh. there you go, well done. Nine counters, Barry. £450. It's a lovely drop on a steal as well. Let's take it and put it into a bank. It puts you on £1,550. Key control as well. Time for your first question. What colour is the middle ring on the top row on the official Olympic flag? 
I think Nathan will know this because he's pretty sporty. I've got to give it a go. I'm going to go for yellow. You're going for yellow? Yep. Right. Nathan, if he'd pass this over, did you know? Didn't have a clue. <laughs> Not a clue, Barry. <laughs> could have passed it. Barry, have you dug out the right colour? Is the middle ring on the top row of the official Olympic flag yellow? Oh, it's black. It goes from left to right along the top. Blue, black, red, and the bottom row is yellow and green with the five interlinking rings. Hard luck, Barry. It's you went right. for it. Yeah. Now then, he's gifted this one to you, Nathan. Let's make it count. Where should we go? Going to go for drop zone two. Bar up two, please. Yeah, that's the side. Now, where I needed it. We need that top shelf to deliver. Or at least set you up for your question. Okay. Yeah. Just going to cling on. Looks good, though. Time for your second question, Nathan. In 1893, which modern-day Commonwealth country became the first to grant women the right to vote in parliamentary elections? You can pass uh, if you're not sure. I have no clue. I think Barry might know this, but, yeah, I'm going to pass because I don't right, have a clue. Right, Barry. Any ideas? I haven't got a clue, but I'm thinking it's got to be a country that is pretty forward in its thinking. So I'm thinking of New Zealand. Going to go for that, go for the gut. Nathan, what do you think? It, it would have either been New Zealand or Australia. OK. Barry, let's see if you're right. If you are, it's a great steal. It's a great answer as well. Was it New Zealand? It was New Zealand. <laughs> yeah. There you go. So they weren't part of the Commonwealth then. Yeah. So the modern-day Commonwealth country but a fantastic answer, Barry. Well done. Thank you. Right, let's get a counter. It's a no-brainer, Ben, isn't it? Got to be two, please. Two. Fire it up, please. Getting Nathan to do all your hard work here. <laughs> okay. He's doing heavy lifting. Oh, there it is. Exactly where you want it Just as well. Just where you'd left it yours, was. dangling over the edge. Just the one goes. Will that do it? Will it unlock that tipping point? No! Ooh. Very, very tight on the tipping point. So no damage done, fortunately, Nathan. Barry, you keep control. Time for your second question. The stage musicals West Side Story and The Sound of Music both contain a song that have what one name title? I'm going to pass to Nathan. <laughs> oh, Nathan, this could be a gift. Do you know the musicals? I'm familiar with it, but not, like, not in any depth or okay. detail. I think Barry might just have got it. You've passed it now. Don't say anything, Barry. Come on, Barry. <laughs> You're right, mate. I've got it. <laughs> right, Nathan, you need to get it. Oh, Silver Counter just dropped. It's not changed anything, though. Right, what do you know about either of the musicals? I don't know. They both love story. I'm going to say love. Love? OK, we were looking for a one name to title, so they maybe had the song Love in it. Yeah. OK, Barry, it popped into your head, I think. I can't believe it. This is my wife's favourite film. Oh, Barry, for heaven's sake. Exactly. It's Maria. Maria. Let's see. Is the answer love? No, it's not. It is Maria. Of course it's Maria. Nathan, hard luck. You didn't know, you didn't know. So, Barry, you get the counter. Where do you want to go? Number two, please, Ben. Fire up number two. Can it resist any longer? Slams down. Ooh, not a given. A little bit of lateral. Oh, they're oh. clinging on. Would you believe it? Those two black counters, this end of the machine. Let's just keep an eye on it. I think it could go. Oh, oh you got them. There you go. You were still in play. <laughs> in they were so close to going. It just dropped in the end, Barry. Nine Nicely counters. Done. Oh, Barry. £450. Let's take it and put it in your bank. That's going to put you on £2,000. Right, Nathan, we come back to you. It just yes. got a little bit harder, I'm afraid. Yep. Time for your third and final question. In 2022, Rotterdam officials confirmed they would dismantle a historic bridge to fit through a super yacht owned by which billionaire? Uh, no, I think I know one or two billionaires, so I'm just going to... You're going to play it? Yeah, I'm going to take a stab. OK. Uh, two people coming to my Elon Musk or Jeff Bezos. Jeff Bezos. Go with Jeff Bezos. Yeah. Nathan, have you done the right thing? We really could do with a counter here. <laughs> Is the answer Jeff Bezos? Yes, well it done, was. Mate. Well done, Nathan. Absolutely well done. right. So, 23 counts between you and Barry. He's opened up quite a lead. <laughs> I think I'm going to go for drop zone three. That's the one that's looking like it's got most. OK. Most of the tipping point. Drop zone three, please.
settles me. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, Nathan, you've had no joy. Mate, he's just playing with you. Yeah, no, don't want it, mate. Don't worry, mate. It's ready for you, that. Thank ready you. For you. Clinging to that top shelf and not going anywhere. Right, Barry, time for your third and final question. In the National Portrait Gallery, a painting of a lady wearing a pearl necklace with a letter B is said to be of which wife of Henry VIII? I would say that would be Anne Boleyn. Anne Boleyn? Yeah. Let's see if you're right, Barry. If you are, you are our champion. You're going to be playing for our chatbot. If you're not, Nathan's got one last swig at it. Is the answer Anne Boleyn? Yeah, it is. Well done, Barry. Cheers, Congratulations. Man. You've played a great game. You're going to be playing for our jackpot. Nathan, I'm so sorry. You've been brilliant, but we are going to be losing you at the end of this round. One more count for you here, then, Barry. I'm going to go for three, if you could, please, Ben. Let's do it. Drop so three. Yeah, again. Get Nathan to do the heavy lifting. <laughs> sorry, mate. <laughs> oh, goes the other side. Might work with a bit of lateral, otherwise. Something into two, maybe. There you Ooh. go. That's going after that mystery. And another four counters, Barry. Nicely done. You've worked the machine really well. £200. Let's take that. Put it into your bank. And that means at the end of the round, with £2,200, Barry is our champion today. Well done to you. Thank you. Nathan, I'm so sorry. That means with £850, <laughs> we have found your tipping point. Of course, you have won your cottage holiday, Nathan. So not all bad. Thanks so much for playing. Oh, thank you. It's been fun. It's been really good to meet you. Barry, congratulations. In a few moments as our champion, I'm going to ask you to put this jackpot counter into the machine. Now, this one, Barry, is a little bit bigger, but a whole lot better than all the others, because you get this one out. It's worth £10,000. Can Barry master the machine by finding its jackpot tipping point? We'll find out after the break. Welcome back to the final part of Tipping Point. Barry is today's winner, has managed to get £2,200. It's a cracking total, that, Barry. You've played a great game, charmed the machine right from the start, and here you are about to take on a machine for our jackpot. £2,200 is a lovely amount of money, mm. but £10,000 now, Barry, that would be really special. What do you think you'd like to do with that money? Well, I've been blessed with two wonderful children and, in turn, been blessed by two gorgeous grandchildren. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to, first off, take the whole of the family probably to a villa, Spain, or whatever it is. Nice. And anything that's left over, my wife, Debs and I, can go do some serious travelling. You've done a brilliant job up till now, and if we can get you that £10,000, we can get you that jackpot, and the whole family can celebrate Barry, that'd be really special, so good luck. Thanks, Ben. Time to find out whether Barry's going to win our jackpot. In a few moments, we're going to ask you to put the jackpot counter into the machine. If you want to go home with £10,000, you just need to get it out again. Here's how you'll do it. I'm going to show you six question categories. For each category, you choose to play one, two, or three counters into the machine. The more you play for, the harder the question. The more you win, the better your chances. OK, so, first thing we need to do is put the jackpot counter into the machine, Barry. Where would you like to put the jackpot counter, do you think? Well, I can see the double in there, Ben, so I'm going to go for three. OK, let's light up drop zone three, please. It took a long time mm. to come down, didn't it? What we want is that flat. That's a nice addition if it goes flat, because it's going to go it right up next to that double as it comes mm. forward. Yeah, there you go, look. Lovely, over you go. Now, we can start collecting some of this money. It's all yours now. Ooh! It doesn't matter when it goes, Barry, you collect it all. We stick it in the bank. Seven counts across the tipping point. £350 goes in. It takes us up to £2,550. Jackpot counter just towards the left of centre on drop zone three. That double's not far off either. Let's have a look at your categories. We have film, sport, geography, fashion, science and literature. Play them in any order you like. When you're ready, where should we start? How many? Top from the bottom, Ben. OK, so film to start with for how many, Barry? Three. Let's do it. Film for three, please. The logo for which American film studio is a boy sitting on a crescent moon holding a fishing rod? DreamWorks, Universal or Pixar? I think it's DreamWorks. I've seen this before. Mm -hmm. So let's go for DreamWorks, Let's ben. do it. We're going DreamWorks, please. Is that the logo for DreamWorks? Yes! Lovely. Brilliant stuff, Barry. Great start. Three counters. Right, number three, obviously, Ben. Light it up, please. See so if we can get that jackpot counter moving. <laughs> OK, not far off. That's OK. It's not quite 
quite going to get there. Might just nudge it over to a little graze, but nothing more. Okay, so two more. Three again? Please, okay. yeah. Bar up three. Took a couple of hops to the right, didn't it? Is it going to go flat, though? Yeah. It's good. So it might just move it over to the left as that black counter comes forward. There you go, a little squeeze. It's all in the prep, then. It is. Getting it <laughs> set up nicely. Back. Top side three again? Yes, please. Add it up. <laughs> OK. Now, there's a big old wedge of cash on the yeah. edge there. We're going to shift some of that. Jackpot's Ooh. moving forward. Just leave a double there for a touch. Nice drop. Nice. Very fun. nice. Seven across the tipping point. £350. Let's put it in. Collecting lots of money as we go, up to £2,900. Got some nice movement on the jackpot counter as well, so good start. Right, back to the categories, Barry. So, as we head down the list, sport's next. Yes, please, Ben. How many? I'm going to go two for sport, Ben. Let's see if we can get a sport for two, please. In a top-tier game, which of the following sports do teams not start with 11 players on each side? Football, cricket or basketball? I think that's basketball, and I've been to football matches, been to cricket matches as well. Basketball, I'm not too sure, but I think it is less than 11. Less than 11 aside. So, we'll go basketball, please, Ben. We're going to go basketball, please. Is the answer basketball? Yeah, five aside. On the court, of course. Well done. Two counters. Number three again, please, Ben. Three up, please. Right, come on, then. We've had a couple either side of the jackpot. Just making a nice little path for it. Go on, then. Yes. Oh, that'll do. I think that will do. Right behind it, get it to the edge. Lovely stuff. Lovely stuff. That's mm -hmm. four more across the okay. tipping point. £200. Up to £3,100. One more to go in. Drop zone three. Yes, please. Light it up. <laughs> Is that gone over to the right? Mm. It's going to squeeze past it, I think. Yeah, let's see. Is that going to hit the double? Do you it stay in there? Mm. You're just going to tease us. OK. Yeah. Jackpot's on the edge of the top shelf, though. OK. Let's go back to the categories, then. Geography's next. I'll give geography a go, please. For how many? Three, if you could, please, then. Geography for three. Which of the following major ocean currents is located in the Atlantic Ocean? Kuroshio current, Gulf Stream or Alaska current? Kuroshio sounds something like from Japan, you know, in the... Alaska, I think it's far too north. I would say Gulf Stream, Ben. Gulf Stream? Yeah. Should we line that up? Yes, please. We're going to Gulf Stream. Let's see if you got it right. Is it the Gulf Stream? Yes, absolutely well. right. Well wow. done. The other two in the Pacific. Nailed it. Three counters. Drop zone three. Yes, please, Ben. Light it up again. Now where we want it, right behind that black counter. OK, that's going to slide to the right a touch. Little dangler's going to go, I think. That's going to squeeze behind. There it does. £50. Let's add it in. 3150 Two more to go in. Drop zone three. Yes, yes please, Ben. Light it up. We want that jackpot down and nestling behind. Nestling behind the double. Is that going to send the double? It's going to line up behind the double. I'm not sure it's going to send it over, is it? Just going to get it close. It's just going to wait. It's waiting. Just, just waiting. It's waiting. Preparation. <laughs> Drop zone three again. Yes, please, Ben. Let's have three, please. This is the one. Black counter, jackpot down. Thank you. Nestled in. Spooning the double. Oh, oh, what's going on? Just a bit too much juice, didn't it? Yeah. Over into drop zone four. Yeah, nice. Just keep an eye on that black counter in drop zone two, because it might go. Yeah, it has. One more as well. So let's add four into the bank. Another £200, £3,350. Right, let's go back to the categories. Yep. So we're halfway. We've got fashion, science and literature left. I've never been known for me fashion sense. I can't look at you. You're a <laughs> style icon, Barry. 
dressed and styled by Debs. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I thought you looked so sharp. Uh, I'd have two for fashion, please, Ben. OK, we're going fashion for two, please. Which of these garments takes its name from the Cantonese words for long gown or dress? Chong Sam, Kaftan, or Pashmina? Now, Pashmina, I believe, is a scarf. A Kaftan, I understand, is from the Middle East. So my gut reaction is to go Chong Sam. Chong Sam? Yes, please, Ben. OK, we're going to go with Chong Sam. We're looking for the Cantonese words for long gown or dress. Is the answer Chong Sam? Yes. Well done. Right, two counters. Where next? Um, drop zone three, if you could, please, Ben. Let's have drop zone three. It's shaping nicely, this, if you hit that black counter, Barry. Always over the right Yeah, there. bouncing and flying across. Nice little stash in four that might get a little nudge. Yeah, we'll take those three, including the one that jumped out of the machine. Another 150 pounds. And it's going up nicely again. Three thousand five hundred pounds. One more to go in. Drop zone three. Drop zone three, please. Add it up. <laughs> again, it's over there. Felt like a span that I way, thought, didn't yeah. it? So we're having a lot going down that right-hand side. We just mm. need to keep the right answers, I think. Still got plenty of categories to go. We can keep collecting this money for you, Barry, as well. We will take another £50. That's good. £3,550 in the machine. And that jackpot counter's still there on the top shelf. Mm -hmm. Right, back to the categories. We have science and we have literature. I think the strongest one out of the two is science. Go on, and I'm going to go three for science. Science for three, please. An HCG test is used to establish what condition in the human body? Hay fever, diabetes or pregnancy? Now, I suffer from hay fever. I've never heard of HCG with hay fever. Diabetes is with insulin. I don't think it's pregnancy. Diabetes, Ben. That's just a random guess. Should we go diabetes? Yeah. We're going to go with diabetes. An HCG test. Is that for diabetes? Oh, it's pregnancy. Is it? OK, not to worry, you didn't okay. know. No. We've still got one last category. We can still do this. Right. We just need to get this right. Literature. Give it three. Let's do it. I'm only here for once. Literature for three, please. First published in 2021, The Man Who Died Twice is the second novel by which TV presenter? Richard Osman, Fern Britton or Nick Knowles? It's a book that I've wanted to read. And it's not Nick Knowles, it's not Fern Britain, it's Richard Osman. Yeah? Yeah. I'll go Richard Osman. Let's go, Richard Osman. Feel like we're confident about this one. Yeah. The man who died twice. Is that the second novel of Richard Osman? Yeah, well done. Lovely stuff. Right, you're giving yourself every chance, Barry. Three counters. Job zone three? Yes, please, Barry. Light it up. down that side. <laughs> if it splits, it might give us a, a bit of work. Now, it could move the jackpot, that silver one, if it comes left as it drives forward. There you go, a little Ooh. nibble, a little nibble. OK, two more to go. Three, please, Ben. Drop zone three. I still feel like we need it on that map. The last four or five have gone hard on the right, haven't they? Mm. Is that too far? Come on. Slide right. Hit that black counter. Slide right. Go on, 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 go on. Mm, little nudge. Two counters drop in. £100. £3,650. Got one more to go in, Barry. That's a lot of money up there, Ben. And I don't think, even if I go down, because I've got no more questions after this, I can see that mystery over there. There's a mystery counter on there two. Is. I'm going to go for the mystery counter, Ben. See if we get that out? Yeah, I'll go for two, please, mate. Let's do drop zone two. Right. Can we get something over the top shelf? The mystery counter has been right there for a very long time. It's not a bad place, but we need a little bit of help because they're all set a bit yeah. back, aren't they? It is flat. Anything going to go here? 
Oh, Barry. Worth a crack. Yep. yep. We are out of questions and categories. You've managed to get yourself £3,650. It's a lovely amount of money. Usually, as I'm sure you know at this stage, I would offer you a trade. Three counters, what you've got so far in the ho in the Hopebot counter out. Given where it is and the fact that you've already turned your back on it, I think I know what you're going to say. Yeah. And nonetheless, Barry, would you like to take the money or the trade? I'll take the money, please. Baby. Congratulations. £3,650 is a lovely amount of money. Really, really great. Go some way towards getting all the family together for a lovely holiday. It will do, Ben. Absolutely, yeah. Amazing Thank stuff. you. You've played a great game. I've loved playing alongside you. Have you enjoyed yourself? Fantastic. Fantastic.